Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the Traders Hunt series. I mean, Mr. Success Ogbonna, your host on this Traders Journey, right? And a big shout out to those who are just watching my video for the very first time. Those who are just watching my video for the very first time, right? And I know some of you are newbie traders, struggling traders, who are trying to looking for that edge to uh, win consistently, win the market. Trust me, this is the channel to be. This is where. We get to see an expert like myself come up stage to show you the behind the scenes story on how and how to position yourself for consistent profits in the market. This is the channel to be. This way I show you the edge, your edge over the market and how you can use this edge to your advantage to stay consistently winning. And also a big shout out to those who have been following me over the months now, right? Over the months and also especially to the forex mastery students where the picture that you guys you guys are the, the v v uh v v b i p i mean v p p <laughs> i don't know how to put, i don't know how to put this the v p <laughs> v i p students actually like, the v i p guys on this stage guys and also um if you really want to uh join my uh, my mentorship session you want to be a part of my community where i get to really groom mentor and coach you into being a fine trader into being that fine kind of trader who is able to milk this market consistently then ensure you uh, use the link from the subscription down below right send me a message right or send me a, a whatsapp message or send me an email to access um the forex mastery program it comes along with my course right this is where i get to properly shape you right into that trader of your dreams where you get to achieve those that your your your, your life goals your life goals as a trader in the financial market right guys so there's been a lot of events in the market and like right i've been a lot of really really serious events have been that happened especially with the death of the queen right as so rest in peace the death of the queen also act hard that was a, a serious impact it had a serious impact on the market that was just on friday right and personally i wasn't expecting that right so i'll be showing you i'll be showing you guys how that impact really that really that, how that uh, event actually impacted my tweet i'm telling you some of those who have who had running tweets but i'll be showing you guys my charts in the gp i'll be showing you guys my uh how that and really 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 affected my trade but then right one thing, one thing about this business is that losses are part of the game as much as it is it is uh, as much as we win also prepare for the losses and so make necessary adjustments to accommodate these losses and also so we, we are able to pick our less the lessons there for us because the thing is i want to about this market is your best lessons right so your best lessons some of your best experiences you some of the best experiences that shape your trading psychology that shape your expertise in the market comes from your losses that's the truth and this is why loss are a big part of the game a big part of the business but then your your your, your edge as a trader what makes you an expert in the market is that your wins are all your wins always have a way of making up for every any loss and also giving you that uh edge over the market your wins always triple 10 10 x 5 x uh 20 x your losses so this is how we are able to stay all right this is how we are able to play the game long term all right guys so i'll be taking you guys now to my screen right and uh, before i do that ensure first ensure to give this video a thumbs up give subscribe to this channel if you have not and also keep keep those fire emojis to give me the ginger so that i can be able to the shot can take up the markets properly and also look out for the opportunities that are there for us in this new week right what how can we what are the opportunities for us in this new week and how can we profit from the markets this new week so ensure you give this video a like thumbs up or, or a thumbs up and also very importantly subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can always get uh my uh my amazing videos each time i upload them again get, always get an alert on my amazing videos each time i get to upload them when i take a second to do that right now subscribe give this video a thumbs up and also give me that fire emoji on the comment section so guys i'll be seeing you guys on my next screen hello guys welcome back to my screen right this is uh euro usd right i'm looking at just a few peers today this is euro usd and um I actually did not trade this PA last last week, but then I was actually paying attention to it. Right, I was also actually paying attention to it. But then once you can see that overall Euro USD is bearish on the daily time frame. Right, 
Hero UAZ has been bearish, right? There has been bearish, and also uh, on in recent times, you can see that Hero UAZ has just been consolidating all, all, all around here. That's been consolidating all around there, and also look looking as though uh, we are having a more like a Okay, this is a consolidation in the four hour time frame. Right. So it has been really been difficult, rough trying to track Euro USD. Right. That's been really pretty rough tracking Euro USD because Euro USD had, well, had just been respecting this box. Right. Euro USD has just been respecting this box from where I put it here. But then if you notice something, we will just try to do this trend line here. I actually did not pay attention to it, to it. I didn't actually notice this on time, not until after the market closed for the week that, okay, I not discovered that, okay, this was what the market this was actually doing. Right, remember, this is the first touch of the line, the second touch, and uh, she have had the third retracement. The market is supposed to drop massively, right, which was why I... Oh, that, the, 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 I told you guys last week that you should be looking for more sales opportunity on the market. Right? I'm not saying that you should look at for more sales opportunity in the market. Just because I think I was thinking, I think I, it was within this, uh, because of the overall flow of the market generally, right? And also with the fact that we have already had the first second and after the third retracement, the market is supposed to drop massively. Then the fourth retracement was supposed to be higher. But in this case now, the the third retreat, uh, the third uh, drop was not so was not even significant. Then you can see the fourth retracement, how high it was. But then this actually retracement was actually the was I don't I, I can't act exact. That was no fundamental. That was no technical law that backed this massive uh, push to the upside on Euro USD. That was no technical or uh, fundamental news because naturally. It is uh, the fundamental news are supposed to push this just big move only happened Friday. It was on Friday, just on Friday, and we experienced this big move. And at the po at this point now, we are even on we are even sitting more like on the 50-50 situation because this looks like a breakout of this cage and a retest. So we have not actually broken. We need to break below this guy to be sure that okay, fine, this thing is actually uh, respecting this conversation. Right, so at the at the moment, it's not exactly clear to say even that we've experienced a complete breakout because right now you can see the massive drop. Right, I got to just wanted to test this zone. Right, I got just went ahead to test this uh, resistance zone, and after testing it, you can see the massive drop. Right, you can see how it how it dropped massively down, and also now. Personally, I would want to see price inside this case to be uh, uh, to be clear on the sales uh, uh, on the sales uh, momentum, right? But then I still feel that since tomorrow is Monday, we could be having a little retracement to give it give us more like a double top, which would be the, uh, enough confirmation for the enough moment, which will give the market enough momentum to drop. Right, this is what I feel would happen. We could also go down from here, but I feel that should be a little retracement at least. But I will wait too little to give us that pattern, that uh, chart pattern. Right, to give us that chart pattern, which will be more like an extra confirmation for the drop. Right, to be more like an extra confirmation for that drop we would want to see in the market. Right, so this is just my view on Euro USD. But still on, still on holding on to my sales bias. But then, uh, okay, let me just show you guys. Uh, the, the main gist is on, on GBPUSD. The main gist is on GBPUSD. So I've been talking about GBPUSD for a long, a little long while. This guy actually stopped a very, oh, I made a very crazy mistake on this street, right? I was actually milking this guy. I was making GBPUSD massively, guys. I was milking this guy so crazily that I think my overconfidence. I'm, I don't want to use the word overconfidence either. Sorry, guys. This was one of my sessions, right? One of my sessions with my students. We are showing them some stuffs. So let me remove them. 
right so if you want to join my mentorship sessions and all that so this is just one of my mentorship sessions with some of my students so you can send me a you can send me a mess a whatsapp message via the from the description section there you can send me whatsapp or send me an email to be a part of my community right where i get to really really coach you on how to do this thing why right? how to do this how to take check out this market and how to trade it profitably for a long time right so i was actually holding on to my bias on sales bias because you can see the impact of friday impact so this is just one day can do you can see how really crazy that was right but then for the four hour time frame the gbus is giving us a very serious concern you can see i, I actually made this trade personally i admit this guy to this point Right, I'll make this guy to this point. So I was still sure that this guy was going to break below and continue, which was why I was holding on to my position. So I actually had up to two. Let me, let me go to the one hour time frame so you can, I can show you guys something. So I actually made this guy. Sorry, let me bring it lower because my, my initial stop loss was around here. This was actually my initial, this was actually how I was on this street. Right, this was actually how I, it was on this street. So I'd actually make this guy down to this point i had two positions initially i had two positions running so i closed the first one around this consolidation situation here but right? i closed the first one i put the other one on on, on, on break even right so prior market went back down to give me hit my targets right so i did not close that, that was my big that was my first mistake so it retraced down to this point and dropped lower gave me a significant amount of money so i was what i was actually expecting was this that this trade will do like this, we trace back down here and continue dropping. So around here, I will now add at least two more positions around here. This may explain my trade to you guys, right? I could add more positions around here, then I'll make this guy down. But then unfortunately, what the market did was it now shot back up, almost hitting my break-even, then came back below here. Right? So when I saw it called going down. What I did was to add two more positions. I think, I, okay, okay, when it went back up around here, I added two more positions around here. When it got down to this point, so this was like a double top situation already. Remove these lines, right? This was like a double top situation. So this double top, I was kind of this double top here because I was had this guy was already already coming down, which means I had about three positions running, right? This guy was already going down so i was like confident that okay fine this is a double top so definitely when i saw this consolidation i was not so part topped because i felt that this market was, was, was because of this double top it was certainly gonna drop and also what made me hold my position because the following day was friday now this was on thursday as a thursday evening i was on i was having this situation so i was like okay fine and with the, also with the news thursday evening with the news of the uh, of the queen's death i saw rest in peace because any naturally any time this when, when the queen was alive, anytime she is speaking, especially in relation to the market, the market always is always bullish. Euro pounds are always bullish. Anytime the queen is speaking, euro and pounds would always always be bullish, right? So with that demise, I felt that would really really paralyze or weaken. Seriously, have a significant the market the euro and pounds will significant significantly weaken. Which will make the market this uh, GP USD, Euro USD, even AUD USD to drop massively, especially Euro USD and GP USD should drop massively. That was my uh, anticipation. So I was also I was really relaxed. So now I saw as a Friday early morning around 2 3 a.m. 4 a.m. I saw this bullish move up to this point, but I was taking it like maybe I was, I was taking it because it was the Asian session. So the market was just kind of trying to have a bit of a consolidation before the drop, which was usually normal with the market to have a little to move up to them um, to make up to uh, that uh, 10 20 pips in the Asian session. Then from the London Open, it will now have we now have more entries and the market to be more specific on the direction to drop down, right? So that was actually my bias on this tweet. So, but, but but then unfortunately, you can see what happened. The market just went ahead to stop me out. Right? This was one of the. This happened to be one of my the most painful losses I've had. 
So this this simple loss affected me drastically because with this this singular trade, I defied all my risk management rules. Right? I defied all my risk management rules. I'm, I, I can't even. I'm, I'm, I'm still, still really, really, really pained by the loss. But this guy went ahead to stop me, stop an already winning trade. This is, what, this, this is something that hardly ever happens to me. But it hardly ever happens to me that I lose a winning trade. Because imagine somebody who already, already hit my target, passed it, my target, but I still did not close. Market went back to retrace and all that. Give me this top, to, and this like double top confirmation to drop down. But then, <sighs> these are these are just some of the unsaid things that sometimes can happen in the market. Right? Even we experts sometimes will fall victim of the things we preach against. Right? We are also humans. Right? We are also humans. But then, I'm actually already I'm actually holding two positions on on GPUs around about here, still on profit. Right? Still on profit. But then. You can see we are on this is on this resistance at the moment. So I'm expecting that hopefully by from Monday, Tuesday, this guy should drop below. I that is I should be able to recover the loss by this new week. By God's grace, all things playing the call, I should be able to recover the loss that I had last week. Because I would definitely I would be taking my profit. Definitely, I won't leave anything to chance anymore. Right? I've learned my lessons. So you, I'm also I'm actually pointing out this loss to you guys. So you also learn. So you also learn from it, right? So and um, for this new week, let me just show you guys something. You can see that GBBUSA has already given us more like this more like a double bottom. Some things would want to call it an inverse head and shoulders pattern, still the same thing. We can say this is an inverse left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and market is going up. This is like around the neckline. So the truth is this situation we are in right now on JPUSA is a 50-50 situation. It's a dicey one. Right? It's a very serious dicey situation. Right? So we are you can see that currently the price is just on the neckline of this double top, sorry, double bottom or inverse head and shoulder situation. But then even at the at the same time, this is also look like this is also looking like a triple top. <laughs> you can see how this is also looking this also looks like a triple top situation. This is the first leg. So let me show you guys something. This is the this is the first leg, second leg, third leg. So you can see it's like a triple top situation. So the market could also so we are just on a 50-50. Right now, the market is just 50-50. GPUS is just 50-50. Right? So a clear drop below this resistance zone. A clear drop below it will give me that confirmation. That uh, 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 confirmations on the sales momentum. Right, that, that will give me the confirmation on the sales momentum. Right, a clear break below it. Or if I now see a bullish kind to closing above it, that means fine. It means that the market is respecting the double uh, bottom or the hemvas and shoulders we are having. Once we that means we should be preparing for the bull. So I want to see how Monday we close. Personally, the close Monday close is very important, right? Monday close is very important for, to us to know what to actually how the market is going to be behaving for the week, right? So I actually use Monday close to give me a to paraphrase or give me a hint on how the week will look like, right? I use Monday close to see how the week to monitor how to at the week we we'll look at this are premium information i'm giving to you guys right? this are premium information i should be saying all these things i'm saying right now right but then uh this is this is just this is one of the real channels where you get to see some some of this advanced approach right some of this advanced approach to the market right so if you have not subscribed ensure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel also share this video with as many traders as you know out there because this, I know I'm dropping some premium, premium, premium stores for you guys here, right? I know I'm using premium stores for you guys here on this channel, right, guys? So uh, this is just my verdict on JPUSD. So I'm still, I'm actually old. I'm actually short on this trade. I'm actually, I'm actually shorting this trade already. I'm actually shorting this trade and currently positive on it. But then my, my positivity is not so. I'm not so. Uh, 
chat i'm not so confident on my bias on this matter because of what the situation we have because of this 50 50 situation we are having right 50 50 50 situation we have so i would definitely want to see this drop below this resistance zone to be really really confident about the market to be really really relaxed right on the bias of this market right i'll be really really by uh, relaxed on my bias on my sales bias on this one if not guys can be seeing the bulls coming up to push the market upwards right so okay guys that is that on jbus so one other guy i want to share an opportunity with you guys on is uh okay let's look at adus adus is just the same thing it's following it's following the same thing you can see adus it just also touches resistance zone so adus looks like it's trying to drop down right it has been that has been falling over time over time we'll go to this point and constantly before it will broke right this was the first touch second touch yes third touch then we dropped then you can see that the fourth retracement was is always the highest you can see it now you are dropping down so we're definitely going to be dropping down definitely at least i feel that you know uh, ADUS is going to be dropping about this point they maybe give us this inverse head and shoulders right inverse head and shoulders pattern like you see here right to now maybe possibly go for the positive kills right this is also possible this is also positive but possible right but then it's gonna definitely gonna be dropping down at this point definitely gonna be dropping down to this point first definitely or if it drops below then that's annulling the entire inverse to be annulling the structure of the inverse head and shoulders if it draws below this red zone that means that's annulled or cancelled the uh it has cancelled the inverse head and shoulders pattern right but then also one guy i want to call attention to is gbp jpy right no i've not talked about this guy in a long time so you can see this one guy i'm actually looking at recently so you can see this should be jpy it's more like we have a double top right we broke one and a retest more like we're dropping down so jbs we JBJPY is one guy that looks interesting, really, really interesting, right? It's one guy that looks really, 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 really interesting. You can see how it looks. So definitely this guy is going to be dropping down. At least going to be dropping down. But then this zone is where I have a little, a little, a little, just a little hiccup. I might be, might be dropping down to this point. I might see some retracement before it drops below, lower. But then overall, JBJPY, JBJPY, it's nicely set to for the shots, right? It's nicely set. Nicely it has a very nice setup for us to shot it, right? It has a nice setup for us to shot. So you can see, I'm, gi I'm giving you guys <laughs> this like more like giving you guys happy Christmas, right? So go and go and go and chop this market, guys. Go and chop this market. Go and chop this market. So let's look at gold. Wow, let's look at gold, 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 gold. So what has gold been doing? 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 So you can see overall gold has just been dropping, 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 dropping up to this point. We have to almost we have got to 100% retracement, and you can see that gold is retracing up back up. But then on the same vein to similarly trying to look like it is which is also gonna drop drop below. Why? Because at the moment we are more like on the more like at the point at the moment, why right? this zone. So you can see more like we are consolidating around this between this green and this this guy, this resistance here. So I personally feel that I personally feel that gold is gonna drop below, lower. Because from the higher from the monthly time frame we can see we can see something really important about gold that gold overall you can see we have this double top situation around here and uh you can see that gold is more like trying to break this neckline right so i need to break below this green zone to be confident on it right i need gold to actually break below to be confident on it but then also you can see the retracement happened because of this double now we also have from the data we can see that we are also having more like a double bottom situation right which is the reason why we are seeing that bullish retracement but then 
definitely, 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 uh, it's gonna be a hiccup, right? This double top bottom situation here, I feel it's not gonna, uh, because of the overall structure, right? Because of the overall structure, and this, which is more like the neckline of the double top we have. So, worst case scenario is that maybe gold might go up to this point before dropping, right? So, it you give us, if you notice from here, it's gold has just been doing, you can see uh, double top, this is like, a lower a lower high lower low lower high then he came to give us an equal low right an equal low so i feel you give us this lower low before dropping so you can see market structure here in place you can see market structure you can see market structure All right you can see market structure playing out significantly here so you can see this lower this this the this to this, this more like the lower lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high right now it came to give us an equal low right so I feel to, to still maintain this lower high here before dropping right so I, even if we give us an equal low it to see the can give us this lower lower high before dropping so you can see how overall that's again Gold has been respecting this bearish structure, right? It has been respecting this bearish structure, so definitely it's going to be dropping. It's going to be maybe test go high as high as to this point before dropping, right? That is gold, right? This is it about gold. So the next guy I'll be looking at is will be BTC, guys. So be BTC, right? Will be BTC, BTC, BTC. So you can see BTC, uh, BTC has been making some serious headlines lately. So you can see this after making, making, making this after this hundred percent retracement. What happened next? It shot back up. Right, but definitely the, this bullish momentum is not going to last for too long because what thing is going to do is to test this guy, right, before the drop, right, before the drop. So definitely it's going to see drop. It is still gonna drop. It's still gonna drop. I'm still strongly bearish on um BTC USD because overall bias, the overall bias is still bearish. But the overall bias is still bearish. So don't be carried away by the bullish momentum we are having at the moment. Don't be carried away by it. It's just a retracement. So I just, I, I just an uh, an unprecedented, an uncalled uh bullish move has happened. Right, that's what is just happening. This bullish move is, an, is uncalled for right? because there is no technical or uh, fundamental justification for this bullish for the bullish move. Like I said before, there was there was no justification, neither technically or fundamentally, for this bullish move. Right. So so this is why I'm not impressed. I'm not carried away by the bullish move because I know it just it's just like chasing a shiny object. It is still gonna drop down. Right? It's still gonna definitely drop drop lower right so guys uh i guess uh this is just my okay let me just look at it from the four hour time frame so you can see at this point it's, it's already even more like looking at looking up to this resistance already so you can see it's already trying to react or respond to this resistance to drop right so already respond to this resistance to drop so then it's going to be dropping massively ma massively massively dropping Absolutely dropping because overall, overall structure, structure, see, structure is king in the market. Structures don't lie, right? Structures don't lie because overall structure there is bearish. I would say it's my market that always respect it, right? For the market to break out of a structure, there must be a strong fundamental and technical backup, right? There must be a strong fundamental and technical backup for a structure to be broken right for a structure to be broken but this is why i'm not moved by this bullish momentum on in the market at the moment right i'm not just i'm not so moved by it because i know it is just a uh what to call initial gragra or just a a fake you can call it, i can call it a fake out right a fake out or a fake event a fake uh, a fake play by the market, right? A fake play by the market. So it's just to go and grab liquidity before 
dropping massively for the massive drop so guys uh it was gotten some value from this particular section of uh, section of the video so i want you guys to stay uh, stay put and stay glued to your screen because i have some very important information to pass to you guys on my next screen so i'll be seeing you guys in my next video hello guys welcome back to my screen i trust you guys got so much value from my chart and you've seen my projection and analysis for the week and you see what i'm looking out for in the market and also if you want to actually know when and how i'm going to get into this trade and how i'm going to profit I want to see my risk know my risk to reward ratio on the trade that we taking and which pair i will actually be adding positions or no be taking on for this new week i advise you guys to sign up for my program and join my amazing community so you guys where you get to really track my tweets I join my amazing community because there I see a lot of amazing, 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 amazing opportunity. And up to even my copy trading service, guys. I offer copy trading service solutions too. So this is simply for my students. So you know that there's a lot for you when you join my community. When you take up my course and mentorship station, you become a part of the family, guys. And it's an amazing, growing family that you do. I'm sure you you wouldn't want to miss. I do not. You would so love to be a part of right so to join this community excuse me uh, there's a link from the description section right where you can send me a whatsapp message and also you can send me an email right email me to join this community and i'll be so glad to have you on board and if you've watched this video up to this point and you've not subscribed to this channel what the hell are you waiting for guys right what are you waiting for from giving this video a thumbs up and, so, and subscribing to this channel and also turning on your notification, right? And very importantly, please give me a, leave me a comment on this video, right? And on some of your take-home take, take home value for the week, right? What you, the peer, you you love the way I analyze and you, you really will be looking out to trade that particular peer. Leave me a... Uh, a comment let me leave, leave me a comment on the on the play you would want to be looking at or looking out for based on what i have called analysis i've actually called out, called out on this video right guys so uh, i think this is all i have to show to you guys for this new week so hopefully in the, ne in the next by next sunday we'll be seeing how the market has played out and also the new the what how we can also position ourselves again for profit on this channel because this is a channel where we make winners and big and, and where we make dreams come true for traders right so if you really want to be a part of my community you know what to do the link is down below from the description where you can send me a message and i'll, I'll have you on board and i'll be so happy to be your coach i'll be, I'll be so happy to help you get live the life of your dreams so i'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of the traders on series well for me for me to use me saying have a pleasant have a great trading week ahead peace